Today I will read A Bargain for Francis, written by Russell Hoban, and give you some ideas for being able to save for what you want and stick to your goal, even if some things get in the way. I'm Chelsea Wanake from the University of Wisconsin Division of Extension with today's UW Money As You Grow book read. In today's book, Frances saves for her money for a china tea set, but her friend Thelma convinces her to buy an old plastic tea set instead. Frances wants to be able to save for what she really wants, but also keep her friend. After the book, we'll talk about some activities you can try at home from this parent guide from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. You'll also find out more about Money As You Grow Bookshelf via the web link that I'll provide at the end. So let's get started. A Bargain for Francis by Russell Hoban. It was a fine summer day, and after breakfast, Francis said, I'm going to play with Thelma. Be careful, said Mother. Why do I have to be careful, said Francis. Remember the last time, said Mother. Which time was that? said Francis. That was the time you played catch with Thelma's new boomerang, said Mother. Thelma did all the throwing and you came home with lumps on your head. I remember that time now, said Francis. And do you remember the other time last winter, said Mother. I remember that time too, said Francis. That was the time there was ice on the pond. Thelma wanted to go skating and she told me to try the ice first. Who came home wet, said Mother, you or Thelma? I came home wet, said Francis. Yes, said Mother. That is why I say be careful, because when you play with Thelma, you always get the worst of it. Well, said Francis, this time I do not have to be careful. We are not playing with boomerangs, we are not skating, we are having a tea party, and we are making a mud cake. Be careful anyhow, said Mother. All right, said Frances. <laughs> Frances took her dolls to Thelma's house. She took her alligator doll and her elephant doll. She took her snake doll and her teddy bear, too. As Frances walked to Thelma's house, she sang, Alligators, bears, and me are very fond of drinking tea. The elephant and the wiggly snake are happy when they eat their cake. Frances and Thelma made a mud cake. They put daisies on it for frosting. Then Thelma got out her dolls and her tea set. I am saving up for a tea set, said Francis. I am saving all my allowances. This is the best kind to get, said Thelma. It is plastic and it has red flowers on it. That is not the kind I want, said Francis. I want a real china tea set with pictures on it in blue. The tea set I want has trees and birds and a Chinese house and a fence and a boat and people walking on a bridge. I used to have that kind of tea set, but all I have now is part of the teapot. The rest of it is broken. That is why that kind of tea set is no good, said Thelma. The cups break and the saucers break and the teapot and the cream pitcher and sugar bowl break and then the set is all gone. My tea set has red flowers and it does not break unless you step on it. Well, said Francis, I am saving up for the other kind. How much have you saved up? Said Thelma. Two dollars and 17 cents, said Francis. How much does a tea set cost? Said Thelma. I don't know, said Francis. I am sure they cost a lot, said Thelma. It will take you a long time to save up all that money. I know, said Francis, and I wish I had a tea set now. Maybe I will sell you mine, said Thelma. I don't want yours, said Francis. I want a real china one with pictures on it in blue. I don't think they make them anymore, said Thelma. I know another girl who saved up for that tea set. Her mother went to every store and could not find one. Then that girl lost some of her money and spent the rest on candy. She never got the tea set. That is what happens. A lot of girls never do get tea sets, so maybe you won't get one. If I buy yours, I will have a tea set, said Francis. You said you didn't want it, said Thelma. And anyhow, I don't want to sell it now. Why not, said Francis. 
Well, said Thelma, it is a very good tea set. It is plastic that does not break. It has pretty red flowers on it. It has all the cups and saucers. It has the sugar bowl and the cream pitcher and the teapot. It is almost new and I think it cost a lot of money. I have $2.17, said Francis. That is a lot of money. I don't know, said Thelma. If I sell you my tea set, then I won't have one anymore. We can have tea parties at my house then, said Francis. And you can use the money for a new doll. Well, maybe, said Thelma. Do you have your money with you? I'll roam home for it, said Francis. All right, said Thelma. I will think about it while you run home for your money. Francis ran home for her money. When she came back, Thelma said, I will sell you my tea set. Francis gave Thelma her money. Thelma gave Francis her tea set. No backsies on this, said Thelma. All right, said Francis, no backsies. Francis was home with her tea set and her dolls and she sang, a plastic pot can pour the tea for my dolls and friends and me, just as well as China. Red is just as good as blue. Plastic cups are all right too, just as good as China. When Frances got home, she showed the tea set to her little sister, Gloria. That is a very ugly tea set, said Gloria. What's the matter with it? said Francis. It's ugly, said Gloria. It's a nice tea set, said Francis. It's plastic, said Gloria. It has red flowers. It's ugly. I like the china kind with the pictures all in blue. You can't get that kind anymore, said Francis. They don't have them in the stores. Yes, they do, said Gloria. They have them now at the candy store. My friend Ida got one yesterday, and she showed it to Thelma, so Thelma knows they have them at the candy store. They cost $2.07. Frances walked slowly to the candy store. She looked inside, and there was Thelma. Thelma gave the shopkeeper her money. The storekeeper gave Thelma a china tea set with pictures all in blue. Thelma did not see Frances as Frances walked away. Frances sang a little song as she walked away. Now that plastic's what I've got. Backsies are what there's not. Mother told me to be careful, but Thelma better be wearful. Frances thought about no backsies all the way home. When she got home, she put a penny in the plastic sugar bowl of her tea set. Then she called Thelma on the telephone. Hello, said Thelma. Hello, said Francis. This is Francis. Remember, said Thelma, no backsies. I remember, said Francis. But are you sure you really want no backsies? Sure, I'm sure, said Thelma. You mean I never have to give back the tea set, said Francis. That's right, said Thelma. You can keep the tea set. Can I keep what is in the sugar bowl, too, said Francis. What is in the sugar bowl? said Thelma. Never mind, said Francis. No backsies. Goodbye. Francis hung up. Francis waited for the telephone to ring, and when it rang, she said, Hello. Hello, said Thelma. This is Thelma. I know, said Francis. I just remembered, said Thelma. I think I had something in the sugar bowl. I think it was a ring. Did you find a ring? No, said Francis, and I don't have to tell you what is in the sugar bowl because you said no backsies. Well, said Thelma, I just remembered that I put some money in the sugar bowl one time. I think it was some birthday money. I think it was two dollars or maybe it was five dollars. Did you find money? You said no backsies, said Francis, so I don't have to tell you. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to say how much money is in the sugar bowl. Well, said Thelma, it is my money and I want it. Do you want backsies? said Francis. Do you want your tea set back and I will get my and you will give my money back? I can't, said Thelma. 
because I used the money for a new tea set. There is only a dime left over. I will give you the new tea set and the dime. The new tea set is the china kind you want. It has pictures all in blue. You said they don't make that kind anymore, said Francis. This one was very hard to find, said Thelma, and I think it was the very last one in the store. All right, said Francis, bring it over. Thelma brought over the china tea set and the dime, and Francis gave back the plastic tea set. Then Thelma took the lid off the sugar bowl and saw the penny. That is not a very nice trick to play on a friend, said Thelma. No, said Francis, it is not. And that was not a nice trick you played on me when you, told, when you sold me your tea set. Well, said Thelma, from now on, I will have to be careful when I play with you. Being careful is not as much fun as being friends, said Francis. Do you want to be careful or do you want to be friends? I want to be friends, said Thelma. All right, said Francis, then I will give you halfsies on the dime. Francis and Thelma went to the candy store with the dime. Francis bought bubble gum and Thelma bought lifesavers. Then they went back to Francis's house to skip rope. Gloria came out to turn the rope and skip too. You and Gloria can skip first, said Francis to Thelma. I will go last. Thelma skipped first, then Gloria, then Francis skipped, and she sang, one for plastic, two for china, three for yours, and four for mine, five for tea, and six for cakes, seven for elephants, eight for snakes, nine's a trip to the candy store, then comes ten, and ten skips more, back sees one, back sees two, Backsies are no fun to do. Careful once, careful twice. Being careful isn't nice. Being friends is better. Then Francis and Thelma shared their bubble gum and lifesavers with Gloria. The end. So what did you think? What was Francis's goal? If you had a goal, how could you go about saving for it? Sometimes things get in the way of saving for our goals. Think about what happened that was unexpected between Thelma and Francis. Sometimes when other people have something that we don't, you can feel left out. But it helps to keep in mind what you really want and stay true to yourself as you save for your goal. Next time when you see an advertisement or a commercial on TV, remember that they use special words and music and settings that make people want to buy. You can ask yourself, is that really something that's as fun as it looks on TV? Would it last? Is it worth the money for it? Try to think about that and so that you can keep sticking with your goal of what you really want to save for. Here's a fun idea that you can do at home that comes from the parent guide from Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. You can try drawing a picture of a toy or something that you want to save for and put it next to your piggy bank or the jar where you're saving money for it. Then every time you put money in there, you'll be reminded of your goal and be more focused and able to stick with it. Thank you very much for, reading, for listening to this week's uh, Money As You Grow book read from UW. I hope that you'll tune in another time for our next book. Thank you.